Good morning. My child calls that I have not slept at all last night because my child calls. We have the right medicine, those easy healers there. But still, when the flu symptoms start, the coughing is uh, constant. Anyways, that's the normal flu. I read yesterday from this page, this is in Finnish, Duo Gem. Uh, in Finland, there are th 10 million between 20 million flu common cold symptoms. And uh, if you do not treat them uh, by resting, you may have uh, uh, infections that are worse than the flu. Uh, very interesting information is here. Uh, they say that flu, common cold, symptoms lessen when you get older. Uh, reasons might be that you are not, when you are older, you don't go school and hobbies and all sorts of big group things to have 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 contact to everyone that has flu. And uh, and the possibility is that when you get older, your body gets to know these flus and knows how to handle them. So it's called immunity, perhaps. Um, those viruses that makes you feel ill in the sense of common cold or flu, there are hundreds of those viruses and the common of those more than 50% is rhinovirus. Uh, and here says if you should stay from work or school or such, depends on how you are feeling, because uh, if you have that virus, the common cold virus, um, perhaps everybody else has it too. It's quite... Um, you, you are not the only one. So, the, or you don't have to stay from work or, or school. You have to listen how you are feeling. It starts normally with um, throat pain, uh, tickling in the nose, then comes the your runny nose and you are, are starting to cough. When you are older, you just feel pain all over. <laughs> That's the normal stage of older persons. <coughs> and the high fever. Uh, the, um, there are so much similarities between common cold and flu that even a uh, very acknowledged professor cannot differentiate viruses just based on um, what you have because th those symptoms are so similar you have to go to have some laboratory tests and from there they have have the knowledge to differ, differ, differentiate what kind of virus you are having at that time. And at the same time there are flus, flu-like symptoms that comes from bacteria and those are treatable. Some of the viruses are, um, has some medicine that if you are that kind of person that you have heart symptoms or such uh, they have some medicine to give you to lessen the bad symptoms of that flu so don't worry everything's going to be all right uh, i have heard this um, silver water in some forums, do not trust the silver water 
it affects the good good things in your body more than it might have some effect in bad things in your body that's not a safe way to treat yourself but they say here that C vitamin zinc is uh, something uh, with you can help your body to cooperate Use ibuprofen when when the pain is too much to handle. Paracetamol, acetyl, as that's the, quite interesting. The coffee medicine that you take with the spoon is not nowadays recommended. Uh, the honey have have some honey the normal flu usually last around two weeks and uh, how to protect yourself wash your hands the usage of the mask if is is only effective in those cases, you are having yourself flu or you are treating, you are uh, in a hospital treating someone that has flu or coronavirus, for example. Uh, but if you go to the streets having that, it, it, viruses are so small that they go through in and out as much as they feel like. They are, <coughs> it's not said to be infected through air, but uh, I have seen in uh, any, anywhere, I have, I have, I have seen anywhere, cannot use to, don't, um, that you should use mask. The only reasons to use mask is if you are ill yourself. Don't use mask because it doesn't it, it gives you the false sense of protection. That's dangerous. Don't don't go to friendly with anybody. That's in Finnish straight. So it says here C vitamin and zinc. And the Vahakangas go vilu, Viluxella M. Silver Waters, uh, wrong, use it in the wrong way, and how ineffective it is. A couple of years ago, made. I'm sorry, this takes just too long again. And in Finnish again, rhinovirus. Rhinoviruses are the normal cause in the common cold. Uh, rhinoviruses belongs to big coronavirus group. There are more than 150 virus types that are put to A, B, and C groups. Rhinovirus infection goes 
toward human to human easily through hands. And with this the rhinovirus also, it uh, if you touch you you go, hey, hello, how are you? And you touch after that your eyes, it it goes the virus goes the normal rhinovirus goes to your body through your eyes. So it's not just that Wuhan virus that has an ability to go through your eyes. There is no bad vaccine to rhinovirus. Uh, and uh, how you protect yourself, wash your hands. <laughs> and this rhinovirus has just the same symptoms as Wuhan virus, th the start, start process. So there is no cure for rhinovirus and they treat it as, as it comes to patients. It sounds just like the Wuhan virus. So let's go to see what Wuhan novel coronavirus does today. Total deaths are quite near for the total recovery. But the amount of confirmed cases is alar alarm alarmingly high. There's one more in German, few more in France, more in US, four in United Arab Emirates. Was there before? Two in Italy, two in Russia, two in UK, one in Spain, one in Sweden. Hmm. It looks like Europe has its point here. And in North America it has white, oh sorry, Canada, uh, it has white spreading there and then the Canada there. And lastly, this this was uh, if there's one video you should watch, it's this. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, this person who is speaking, not that woman, but the man here, um, speaks the words. Winning the battle against uh, epidemics uh, does not lie in the hands of experts. One man who was on the front line battling Ebola in the 1970s says it's at the hands of the people who are most affected. Now, Professor Peter Piot helped discover the Ebola virus in 1976 and was a key part in research into HIV AIDS. CNA's Lokoi Su spoke with him in Singapore shortly after the World Health Organization finally agreed to declare the Wuhan coronavirus outbreak an international emergency. Professor Piot says it should have come earlier. It came a bit late because uh, already last week when the committee uh, met at WHO, um, it could have declared this a, a public health emergency of international concern uh, because there were already not only lots of cases in China, but also in a growing number of countries. And that means that it is of international concern. But better later never. And anyway, the most important thing is that um, no country waited for that uh, declaration to put in place um, measures to contain this epidemic. Does that worry you that they did not wait and each one came up with its own piecemeal, potentially haphazard and possibly irrelevant measures to contain their own national concerns? 
It would obviously have been much better to declare this epidemic as a public health emergency of international concern because uh, maybe then uh, countries would have uh, worked closer together to put in place uh, similar measures. But at the end of the day, um, all countries have reacted. And uh, there are slight differences, but uh, you know, uh, most of the time, the measures make sense. The, the basic principles to contain this kind of epidemic of coronavirus are the same. And for countries outside China, what's important is two things. One is to make sure that anybody who comes from China, particularly from Hubei province, with the infection is um, you know, detected um, at entry into the country and, uh, and can be isolated. So that, And then secondly, that there are no secondary infections within the country. Now, there are measures that are popular and people you know, will practice because it makes them feel safe. For example, uh, masks. Now, masks, uh, you see it, I saw it here in Singapore, even on arrival at the airport and in the bus I took this morning. Um, masks are there and are essential in a healthcare setting, definitely, um, because that's where there's a higher risk. And also, if you feel that you're ill, you know, to protect others. But wearing a mask uh, is, uh, while walking in the street or so, uh, frankly, that doesn't make much sense. That's not going to make a difference. Well, on the question of masks, a few days ago, the, there was information on the internet saying you could be contagious even before you have any symptoms, hence the wearing of masks. Now that's being called into question, so we do not wear masks, or we do ma wear masks. I think the public wants to know very black and white, what should we be doing? Does science find it hard to keep up with this kind of demand? There's a double reality here. One, science is still incomplete. There are many uncertainties uh, around this. Disease. Let's not forget that the virus, the coronavirus, was only isolated uh, less than three weeks ago. And so in no time have we made enormous progress, but we don't know all the details. For example, when exactly you're becoming infectious. Secondly, how long does it take between contact with someone who uh, is infected and that you become ill yourself? Um, we think it's about five to seven days, but it's prob probably a range. So the science is not 100% certain. And then secondly, I fully understand the reality of people's anxiety, and that there's also a lot of, let's say, fake news that circulates. And uh, how to sift that from uh, you know, hard facts uh, is not always easy. And that's why also we scientists, we have to do a better job in communicating. You cannot win a battle against an epidemic if the people are not with you, if people don't understand what's going on, if they're not really um, engaged in their response. Uh, experts alone cannot um, win this. The fundamentals will be the same. Uh, we know that, and, and it sounds a bit medieval in our 21st century of high-tech uh, medical care. Um, you know, that it's still limited to isolation and uh, contact tracing and so on because uh, we don't have a vaccine, we don't have a, a therapy. But uh, we need to listen to people. That's really important. And constantly adapting the messages to, uh, to what we hear. Considering that I have a cold right now, I can't imagine a more appropriate topic to make a video on than a virus. I'm going to make it that thick. Okay, I put all these to the description. Wash your hands. Clean hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. Cover nose and mouth when coughing and sneezing with tissue or flexed elbow. Avoid close contact with anyone with cold or flu-like symptoms. Truly cook meat and eggs. Avoid unprotected contact with live, wild or farm animals. Take care of yourselves when you have an opportunity to sleep well. Drink water, Psi vitamin C, Psi vitamin, uh, zinc, D vitamin. <laughs> Sorry, I pronounce word, words wrong. I have not slept at all. And make your world a better place. Take care. Bye.